Today I'm going to be showing you the best way to transfer all of your data from your old iPhone over to your new iPhone. Now in this case I'll be transferring from my iPhone 15 to my iPhone 15 Plus. I know not exactly an old iPhone but this same process will apply to all recent iPhone models and this process is going to transfer over everything from your apps to your music, uh, your photos, even your messages uh, and also small things like your wallpaper and settings. It's going to save you a lot of time as this process will essentially mirror your old iPhone over to your new iPhone. And then at the end of this video I'm also going to show you the best way to to erase your old iPhone so that you can then safely sell it uh, or pass it on without sharing any of your personal data. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so first there are some important steps that you want to take to ensure that this process will go over successfully. And the first thing you want to do is plug both phones into power. Now, why do I recommend this? Um, this process can take several minutes. However, depending on how many how much data you're transferring, uh, it can actually take up to several hours and you don't want either phone to run out of battery and shut down midway through. So having them both plugged into power is going to ensure that does not happen. Next, over on the old phone, there's a few things that you want to double check. So first, you want to make sure that both your Wi-Fi and your Bluetooth are turned on. So access the uh, the uh, control center here and turn on your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And this is going to be required for your old phone to find your new phone and for your new phone to find your old phone. So once these are both on, we're going to go into the settings app here and then scroll to where we find general and then tap on software update. Now at this stage, you want to check if you have a software update to do, because if you have one, you want to make sure to do it before we get started. Now, I've been asked in the past what to do in case your old iPhone doesn't support the latest or most current version of iOS. This, in most cases, is fine. Just make sure your old phone is still on the latest version that it specifically supports. Great, so with those checks out the way with the last thing you're going to want to have is a uh, SIM card tool. And this is, of course, to remove the physical tray from the old phone and move it over to the new phone. Now, this is primarily for viewers who are outside the US where the current iPhones still have a physical SIM card tray. You'll find this tool in your iPhone box. If you don't have one, uh, a paper clip will work just fine. Awesome, so we're now able to get started with the transfer process. So if we take a look at the new phone, you should see a screen similar to this. This is the hello, welcome screen. Uh, if however, you've already started the setup process, let me quickly show you what to do to get back to this screen. So if you've already started, what you wanna do is just finish the setup process on the phone. Then once you've finished it on the new phone, go to settings, tap on general, and then scroll down to where you find transfer or reset iPhone. And you simply wanna click on erase all content and settings. That's eventually gonna bring you back to this screen so we can then get started. Great, so now what you wanna do is make sure that your old phone is on and unlocked next to the new phone, as you see here. And then over on the new phone, we're gonna swipe up and select the language. So in this case here, we'll go ahead and tap on English. And once we've selected the language, we should see this pop-up show up on your old phone. Now, if you don't immediately see this pop-up, uh, first things you wanna check is make sure that your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are in fact turned on on your old phone. If then you still don't see it, my advice would be to shut down both phones and then boot them up again at the same time. Again, keeping them close as possible uh, together on the same table and that should ensure that the pop-up will then show on your old phone. Now if after all this the pop-up still doesn't show on your old phone there's a very small chance you may need to do an update on your new phone in which case you want to continue the setup process like normal log into your wi-fi at which point you'll be prompted to do a software update then after you've done the update you'll be able to start the transfer process like this. But again, in most cases, the pop-up should just show up like this, but I know there have been some cases where it doesn't, so I just wanted to give you those options so you know what to do in case this pop-up doesn't show. And here we go. So over on the old phone, once you have the pop-up, we're gonna go ahead and tap on continue, then authenticate using face ID, and then it's gonna start the connection process between the old phone and the new phone. Now in this case here, we have a really cool uh, little diagram here over on the new phone, and what you wanna do is pick up your old phone, and then using the camera, you want to scan that, there we go. It will then vibrate and this will then pair the two phones. Make sure that the, the correct two iPhones here are connecting. So we'll give it a second here to start this process. All right, so at this point, we're asked to uh, set up the phone for yourself, or you can also create a child account. Now, this may be useful if you want certain restrictions on the account. Of course, we're just creating this for ourselves here. So I'm gonna tap set up for me. And then over on the new phone, you wanna type in the passcode that you use to unlock your old phone. This is of course gonna verify that it is you requesting this transfer. And of course, this same passcode will be used to unlock your new phone once everything is transferred over. So it is currently activating the new phone under your account, under your Apple ID. This may take a minute or two. And here we have the option to read more about Apple's data and privacy policy. We'll just go ahead and tap continue. And now we're gonna be prompted to set up Face ID. Now, Face ID is one of the very few things that won't carry over from your old phone over to your new phone. And that is because the Face ID data is stored separately on the iPhone from the rest of your data. This is of course for uh, security, uh, security reasons. So we're gonna go ahead and set up Face ID once again here on the new phone. Great, once you've completed your first scan of Face ID, you do also have the option uh, to add Face ID with a mask. This will require a second scan, but this can be useful if say you wear a face mask uh, and that will allow you to then still use Face ID. We're gonna set that up later in settings. 
And there we go, Face ID is now set up. We'll go ahead and tap continue. And here we go. So this is the transfer screen. So in this case, we're gonna be transferring all the data from IP15. You wanna make sure that the name matches, of course, here. That will be my iPhone 15. As you can see beneath that here, it will also give you an ETA for roughly how long this transfer will take. Of course, there's various factors here that will involve or determine rather how long it will take. It could be your Wi-Fi speed, also things like, of course, how much data you're transferring. Now, in my case, I'm not transferring too much data and I have a relatively fast Wi-Fi, so five to 10 minutes here sounds pretty accurate. Now, by default, it's gonna transfer directly from the old phone to the new phone over Wi-Fi. However, if you tap on other options, you do also have the option uh, to say restore from an iCloud backup. Now, this will be useful if, say, you no longer have position possession of your old phone, say it was broken, uh, perhaps lost or stolen, but you still have an iCloud backup uh, available, then you can restore from that if you choose as well. But the best option, of course, is having your old phone next to your new phone, in which case it's just going to transfer from one phone to the other over Wi-Fi. So we're going to go ahead and do that and tap on continue. And here we go. So we're signing into the Apple ID. Go ahead and agree to the terms and conditions. So it's already going to start carrying over some of the basics, such as your contacts, uh, your calendar, your reminders, your wallet information, all that. So it's already starting that in the background right now. All right, so this brings us to a pretty crucial screen as here we can select what we want to transfer over. Now, by default, as you can see, it's gonna transfer over everything from your applications, your app data as well, uh, your settings, your wallet, and even things like your Apple Watch. So you have a Apple Watch paired to your old phone. It will then automatically be repaired to your new phone. You do have the option to customize this if say there's anything you want to leave out, perhaps certain large files. But in my case here, and I think for most people, uh, we're just gonna carry over everything. So we'll go ahead and tap on continue. Now here we have the option to allow or disallow location services. I do suggest fine tuning this in the settings, but in general, it will be required for certain apps like maps, for example. So I suggest you turn this on. And here we're going to be prompted to move over our Apple Pay cards as well. So whichever cards you have associated uh, or linked with your old phone, you can now add them to the new phone. You want to make sure to have them at hand as it will ask for your security code and may ask for two-factor authentication uh, via text. Now in my case here, I'm going to add my cards later. And here we're asked to share Apple Analytics with Apple or not. So this is, of course, personal preference. Personally, I prefer to not share these, so I tap on Don't Share. And then here we have the Emergency SOS features. Of course, the newer iPhones, particularly the iPhone 15s, will come with a bunch of features, including crash detection as well as Emergency SOS via satellite. Just gives you a brief overview of what these features are and mean. Uh, so it gives you an idea of how they work. We'll go ahead and tap Continue. And here we go. So the transfer is now officially going to start. We have the same screen here on both phones, the arrow pointing up on the old phone and down on the new phone as it's going to be transferring everything over it will also give you a time estimate uh, but again as long as you keep the phones near each other side by side uh, plugged into power just be patient this can take several minutes but it can take several hours too um, if ever you feel like it may be stuck if you don't see that progress bar moving nine out of ten times no i would say 9.9 .9 out of 10 times it resolves itself just give it time again it may take a while keep the phone side by side in power so they can't run out of battery uh, and just check on it every so often and we're back. As you can see, the transfer has now completed over on the old phone here. We get this notification. And then here on the new phone, we already see our wallpaper. We can then swipe and enter our passcode or use Face ID to unlock. And there we go. So let's go ahead and add this here. Now we can go ahead and unlock the old phone. Let's type in our password. There we go, new device added to account. We also have the option here to assign which phone you want to use for your location. So let's say uh, you share your location with a loved one. Uh, what you can do is then switch over to your new phone so that it will track this phone as opposed to your old phone. I'm gonna not change this for now, uh, but you may wanna change that for your phone. Now over here on the old phone, we'll go ahead and tap on continue. And then here we immediately have the option to erase this phone. I will get back to this in a sec, but we're not gonna do that right now as I just wanna show you what this looks like. And just wanna confirm that as you can see, everything here has been carried over. The wallpaper, the app layout, um, your widgets, even all are the same. Also things like your settings are all the same as well. Uh, so all your preferences, even your display settings, everything is gonna be the same. And of course, all of your data will be transferred over too. So here you can see that our photos are all perfectly aligned. Uh, great shot of me there, love it. Uh, and as you can see, everything is carried over. Also things like your music will all be there as well. Here's all the recent tracks um, right there from my Apple Music library. Uh, same like your messages, uh, your, your, your call logs, basically everything uh, in other words. And of course, if we go to the second page here, the same will be true there. So again, what this really did was mirror your old phone over to your new phone. Now, one step that is left is to move over the SIM card. So 
let's go ahead and do that now. Now, if you have an eSIM, uh, you will have been asked to transfer this over during the transfer process. This would be, uh, of course, for those customers. Now, if you are transferring from a uh, physical SIM card over to a new SIM card, I would suggest you contact your mobile carrier as the instructions for this will vary slightly. Some will assign this to you. Some will give you a code, an activation code to transfer it over. Uh, but this will vary region to region. Uh, but if you have a traditional SIM card like I do here, you just want to take it out of your old phone using the SIM injector tool. And then we're going to put it into the SIM tray just like so. And then put that in right there. And as you can see very quickly here, uh, we should get the cell service and already uh, it has connected and moved over. So this also means now that your number will of course be uh, associated with your new phone. So your messages will all come through here uh, moving forward as well. And the same with your calls. I've also had a few questions specifically about WhatsApp. Now, if you're using iPhone, thankfully, this will completely carry over as well. So what you have to do is first go into WhatsApp on your old phone and make sure that your chats are backed up to the cloud. They most likely are by default, but if they're not, just make sure that they are. Then over on your new phone, you just want to log in once you've put in your SIM card or once you've carried over your number, uh, type in your name, your contact number, it will then verify. And then from there, you'll be able to restore the chats from the cloud and then everything will be back as normal. And also, uh, as you can see, in my case, all of my apps are here. What may happen, though, on your phone, if you have a lot of apps that you're currently uh, transferring, what may happen is after the transfer is complete, some of them may still be downloading in the background. Don't worry, this is completely normal. Uh, it just may take an extra minute or two for those all to populate and download. All right, so at this stage, now that the transfer is completed, we've ran our checks, we make sure that everything in fact is carried over and functioning like it should, we can now safely erase the old phone to then say, pass it on to a family member, give it away or to sell it. And of course, you don't want to give over any of your personal data. So how do we do this? Well, over on the old phone, we tap onto settings. And right here, we do have the option to erase it right here in the uh, in the settings app. But in case you don't see this pop up, what you want to do is go into general, Scroll down to where you find transfer or reset iPhone, and then you want to tap on erase all content and settings. And then from here, you will be asked to uh, enter your Apple ID password as well as your passcode on your phone, as this, of course, will permanently erase the iPhone. It's also going to remove things like Find My, so this will allow a new person to then uh, set this up for themselves with their own Apple ID. Now, you want to simply tap continue. That should only take a few minutes, and I'll actually bring you back to the same welcome screen that we saw over on this phone uh, at the start of the video. And lastly, I want to show you how to create a backup in iCloud for your new phone. This is a service that I truly recommend to every one of my viewers, uh, and that is to subscribe to iCloud Plus. I think per month for 50 gigabytes, it's only like $1 uh, and $3 for 200 gigabytes. This is what I have. And what this is essentially going to do is it's going to back up your iPhone, all of your data every 24 hours in the background. So say, well, you're charging your phone uh, at night and your data will be encrypted and is, of course, very safe. And this will allow you to basically restore from this backup in the event that your phone is ever lost or stolen. You may recall at the start of the video, I said that it is possible to restore from an iCloud backup if, say, you don't have your old phone. And having this as like a fallback, uh, it just gives extra peace of mind knowing that there's always a full backup of my iPhone uh, in the cloud that I can always access. Uh, and one that is also always up to date, as you can, of course, also uh, back up to your computer via the cable. But this is a little bit of work because you have to do this say every week or so. So it won't always be up to date. Uh, and also, it's going to take a lot of storage on your Mac or your PC. So doing it in iCloud, Cloud, I think it's truly worth it, especially uh, for the 12 to uh, $36 per year that it costs. So I highly recommend this. So to do this, we're going to jump into settings and you want to tap on your name here at the top. And then we tap on uh, your iCloud. So we'll go ahead and tap on that here. And then we have iCloud backup. And what you want to do here is make sure that this is turned on. I have it off here on this phone, but on my main phone, which is my 15 Pro Max, you see I have it on there. It's relatively large, uh, but again, I'm on that 200 gigabyte plan which is perfect. Uh, and this makes sure that there's always a fully backed up and fully recent uh, backup here of my phone in the cloud. So if there's any Apple service that I can truly recommend, uh, it would be this over anything else, just for that extra peace of mind. Great, so now that you've successfully set up your new iPhone, I highly recommend you check out my first 25 things to do video for any new iPhone, and this is gonna help you get the most out of its features, battery life, as well as performance, and I'll be sure to leave that video linked on screen right now. Let me know if you have any questions at all, and if this video did help you out, be sure to leave a like and also subscribe to see more content like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching, and take care.